This is MP in Northern California and it's 118.19. So this needs to go viral. And I've never been more serious in my life. This needs to go viral. Why? Because it needs to get in the hands, the, the right hands of people who could further investigate this. I'm going to lay it out. I'm just going to lay it out and it's going to be a short video. Okay. So this is a follow up to the video I just made here. Uh, today. The title is Exposing the Government Shutdown, Human Sacrifices, False Flag Event Before It Happens in regard to the government shutdown. And I'm referencing the events that were created in my cell phone. On 4 4, the Illuminati's planned events were placed in my cell phone. And so I'm, uh, this is just, please come and watch this first. And then, and then follow this up as the second one. There's new information coming in. I need to thank Sister uh, Ruthie Keem from Arizona. Remember when I drew that map out on here about the seven states I traveled to? She is one of the people that I met with my beautiful little map here in Arizona. Uh, she, you remember this map I just drew out just like an hour or two ago? So she is one of the sisters I met in Arizona in Phoenix. And, uh, she was baptized in the name of Jesus. Amen. So we've remained uh, brothers and sisters in Christ since then. I don't remember what year it was, but it was on this seven state trip. And so she she just sent me a video to this sister's video right here and she in this video i don't know what happened to the sister she would put out amazing information you know just information i'd never heard anywhere else she would put it out and she just kind of disappeared but i used to watch all of her videos so she, she made this video on april 10th 2016 illuminati card game 1000 temples to bail Child blood sacrifice and Freemason roots. She's talking in 2016, April 10th, about the same very thing that I was just talking about today, almost three years later. I don't even know where she's at. So here she shows a, a human child sacrifice to uh, Baal. I mean, this is so serious. So let me let me break it down for you here get excited it's okay to be excited so I drew out this map and I referenced this video the Illuminati planned events for 2016 were placed on my cell phone and I, I couldn't help but notice but at the 7 minute 21 second mark of 7-3 the two numbers given to me to warn is when I went and visited the Oklahoma City uh, the Muir Federal Building that was blown up on 419. 419. So if you come on 721 on this video that I just referenced today, this is the actual, uh, this is the actual, uh, spray painting of the, the team that responded this, one of the teams, Team 5, that responded to this on 419. It's beautiful. I'll play Tell me how this is coincidence. And it's also the date of the New York primaries for the Repu oh, wait. Republican Party in New York. Same exact. Did you catch that? I don't know why it's echoing now. It's never used to do that before. I've been doing this for years and it's no, never echoed before. But it says, we seek justice. The courts require it. The victims cry for it. I don't know who that is. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. You want to know what's really amazing? I begin to talk about things like this, and suddenly my home becomes Grand Central Station. You know, <laughs> I mean, it's literally amazing that that can continue to happen. What are the odds of that? I mean, so anyway, past that distraction and moving on, I'm going to go back. It says, we seek justice. The courts require it. The victims cry for it. And something 
demands it. And I'm playing this, and it, and it's then it's talking about the New York primaries. The false guy in New York, in London, the same exact day. Tell me how this is coincident. And it's also the date of the New York primaries for the Republican Party. You know what I'm talking about? I'm talking about the bail arches on my trip to Oklahoma City. In Oklahoma City, you know how many people gathered? Go vet this. 45 people gathered with me to march around the Oklahoma City Capitol seven times to do a Jericho march. And, and, and this, was our, this was our part of our journey during that thing. It made the newspaper. That we, it, it, why? Because they wanted to use the Ten Commandments there. But even the Ten Commandments that were up there had a Freemason image on the bottom. I have a picture of that. It really does. I'll, I'll find it. And so here's the date, 419. So, okay, here we go. Back to the basics. I drawed this map of seven states I've went to. The sister Ruthie from one of the states here in Arizona just now emails me five minutes ago. And she says, you need to go check out this video. And so I'll bring this video over here, and I'm going to play some of it. And it's talking about 419. It's talking about blood sacrifices and Freemason roots. And it's April 10th. And it leads me to the event video I made on the same exact subject, which was April 5th, five days before. Five days before. Watch this. April 10, 2016. April 5, 2000, five days before. And to follow up on this 419, because I kept getting the word April, April, April. And I've, I've made maybe a half dozen of videos on just on here in the month of April. And it's, it's approaching, right? And then I'm reminded that my wife, we're going all the way back to April of 2013. It, look, April of 2013, my wife dreamed God writing 419 in Hebrew. And actually, if you go and if you check the video that I'm referencing, this was just an update. The dream was in August 2012. So this August will have been seven years since this dream. My wife is out there rebuking demons that are coming out of the sky. And she sees God takes his hand and write it in the sky. 4-19 in Hebrew. Again, April 2013 is the update from 2012 when it occurred. And then, so then the Holy Spirit leads me to this. April 19 video I made in 2016. So watch this. We're going to play part of her video here. April 10th, 2016. This video saying the exact same thing, the exact same thing, even the same wordage. April 5th, 2016. My wife dreaming of that date, 419, that it occurred, April 29th. And then this one, the demonic portal bail arches up in Trafalgar Square, and Obama is headed there. And again, look at the date. You know when they put that up? April 19, 2016, they put this thing up. Remember how I told you there it is in the last video? But look, there it is. I'll never forget that. That is Trafalgar Square, and a portal was being opened up to evil. And so now they're putting these portals all over the place. I mean, it's made it all the way to Washington, D.C. Are you kidding me? It's opening up portals to demons, exactly like I said. And it's being confirmed by people all over. All over. We're all saying the same thing. So so now let's go to her video. And let's just play some of this. And you're going to see the astounding... I'm sorry, I don't know why it echoes. It's never done that before. You're going to see some astounding connections here. Freemasonry honors Nimrod as the first. She says, did anybody know where she went? She said, Freemasonry honors Nimrod. And she's talking about Nimrod, the Tower of Babel, and all this stuff. <sighs> Thank you, Sister Ruthie. You know what I'm talking about. First builder, the original Mason, 
A fourth fact to consider is that the archways in New York City and London will be erected on the first day of a pagan holiday, a 13-day long period in which child blood sacrifices are offered to the god Baal. It's on this day that several high-profile false flag events have happened, including Oklahoma City bombing and Waco, Texas. If you don't recall, Newsweek, posted the most remembered, most memorialized photograph when it put on the cover a picture of a bloodied child killed on April 19, 1995, the first day of the pagan holiday offering a blood child sacrifice. Are you catching this? Are you catching this? 419? Human sacrifices, government shutdown is going to be a false flag. And this. Same thing. Five days after the date. Don't even know her. This. This, 419 from 2012. And finally this. There's an urgency. We need to make this viral. The Freemasons and the Illuminati is exactly what I said. They're playing games. They're playing chess on a board game with people's souls. And the players are now being revealed. And God is revealing and exposing all of their plans. And we need to get this viral. We need to get this viral. People are in danger. Do you understand? 